Hi everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters, and in today's video we're going to be looking at this gun, which is the Virac HW77K. Now, this is one of the videos in a series that we're making in collaboration with Crackshot at Newton Abbott, where we're looking through some of the pre-owned guns that they have available for stock for sale in stock at the shop, right? And this is one of them. Eric um, has provided me with this, and this is my little presentation on it. So, this is an amazing gun, okay? I've been spoiled a little bit over the last couple of years with my PCP collection, right? And going back to this was a rather humbling experience because it really made me realise how much of an art it is to use one of these. And it took me a little while to get the groupings that I'm going to show you in a second, right? But... Through using the gun again and having to load every pellet and go through the um, routine of opening up, breaking the barrel, well, this is an underlever, but it's the same thing, feeding the pellet in and, and then shooting, um, it made me kind of appreciate shooting or reappreciate shooting in the way that I used to back in the day. And I just thought you'd like to know that. I think that was really interesting for me anyway. And it may be the same for you if you've been using PCPs over the years. I've heard people say that you need one good spring in your, in your collection, and I think this could be a great candidate. Anyway, I'll show you a little overview of what the gun looks like close up whilst I'm talking. And in my opinion, this is a beautiful looking gun. I really like the sort of forest coloured inspired laminate stock, which is ambidextrous. Um, so if you're lefty or righty, you can, you can shoot this gun, no problem. Um, now, I've owned one of these previously, okay? The gun that I used throughout my teens and 20s was a HW77K. I never realized how heavy it was back in the day. Um, and these new ones are slightly lighter, which is good. Um, but the other good news is that they're just as reliable, all right? So what I want to show you real quick is the data. Now, again, I'm going to... Um, premise this with something all right i am not good at shooting springers okay i'll say that one more time i'm not good at shooting springers but this is hopefully going to be a fair representation of what i'm capable of with this gun and hopefully you'll be better so at 20 meters this was my grouping and i'll put up on the screen now for you to see and for the most part, I'm fairly happy with that. There are two little ones on the outside of the group. That's probably my technique. But I don't think this is a target rifle. I certainly wouldn't use it as that. Okay. Now, if I take it out to 30 meters, we can see that the grouping opens up a little bit. Roughly by twice the size. Okay. And that's as good as I can do it. Right. You may be better. But I'm being honest in the shooting. I'm just showing you the evidence today. I'm not going to show you the, the video of me doing it because I don't think there's any point. Um, that's my honest um, evidence, right, of me being able to shoot this gun. I actually used um, the 8.44 grain JSBs when I was shooting this. I tried a few pellets, but this was the one that I settled on. Again, you might be able to find a different pellet that suits the gun better for your shooting preference. I'm not sure, but, but there you go. So, the great thing about these guns is how low maintenance they are. Now, despite the fact that they're low maintenance, crack shots will still provide a warranty with the pre-owned guns. And on Springers, it is three months. And crack shots being the, the shop that they are, they're also willing to do RFD transfers to wherever you are in the country. So that's something you need to phone the guys up and speak to Eric or James or any of the team about, and they could get this gun to you safely and securely. So there you have it. That is my very quick under five minutes presentation, demonstration, little review summary of this gun, the Virac HW77K. Thank you for all the support on the videos so far. Um, we really like making them and there's more to come, okay? So take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.